They were born uh, August of 2005. Uh, uh, Ian was bo Ian's the older brother, and he still lets him know he's one minute older. He was born at 4 p.m., and Ryan was born at 4.01. Uh, I was in the, the delivery room with Amanda, and it was a C-section. And when at the time, he was baby boy B. When the doctor delivered him, you can tell right away the doctor said something's going wrong. So finding out he had Down syndrome, it was, it was a shock. And it was... It was a tough number of days just to, you know, there's a, a saying amongst parents who have kids with Down syndrome about sort of planning a trip and you end up, like you're supposed to be going to Paris, but you end up in Holland. Um, it's just the trip you had planned is going to end up being a different trip. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is. It's a, different, it's a different path. It's a different trip. It's not better. It's not worse. It's just different. So a lot of the challenges as a parent and as, you know, taking care of a child with Down syndrome is trying to find the right path. What is the best possible education for your child? You know, what what are their limita what are the limitations you have to work with and how do you build on those and work with his strengths? Mm -hmm. And so for us it was we sent him off to we sent him to a school that specialized. Difference. Um, I mean, it, it is change. it is all children oh, with Down yeah. syndrome yeah. and it is an excellent environment for oh. environment for him. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that listen to him, a lot of boys. Well, this is the second year that Ryan has been in my class. Ryan is here. a very uh, gregarious boy. Yeah. He Go. has uh, some very good qualities. He's very friendly. Our main goal, I think, in the primary level is to have them be very independent. Uh, we want to expect them to do things for themselves, and there's a, a major push for that. We, they have grown, they've matured, they still have uh, sensory issues that we have to deal with and uh, fine motor skills that have to be worked on. But we want them to realize that they have friends, they can be successful. He loves being in front of the camera. He is a, he's, very, uh, he's very friendly, he, likes, you know, he, he just works well in that environment. Those are some of his strong skills, you know, uh, you know right? He has things like said with speech right now and, and things like that, and, uh, and anxiety are some of the t tougher things he's dealing with mm -hmm. right now. Really, the whole reason this took off was because of Noah's dad's blog. Mm -hmm. And um, he has, his, he does such a beautiful job commuting, com communicating concerns, um, making what can be a very difficult thing for people a good thing. He's trying to show the positive light of having a child with Down syndrome. Um, he's reaching a lot of people around the world. Mm -hmm. And he has some, I hope he pursues some things he's looking at as far as trying to do longer um, early intervention videos because he has people in far corners of the earth who have no services and they go to his blog and get a one minute snippet of what he's doing with Noah. Ryan has broken through the barrier of being a Down syndrome person in a typical ad. It's a beautiful wonderful thing and I hope it does a lot of really positive things for the Down syndrome community. Yeah. The fact that I mean what Ryan who he is can, can in, in, you know, enlighten people, enhance people and it gives his life value and, and, you, and he can be an ambassador in some way that's well, we were thrilled about that. They can mesh in with the society, and that's a very important point, I think, that in the long term, our goal is to have our children be, you know, profitable and also to be part of society and to have peers have jobs and be happy with themselves.